Hey there, you guys. I'm here with Nina Fetter, who is no stranger to managing cords on our corded breeds. And what we're going to show you right now is what a common door as a seven month old puppy looks like. And she's going to explain to us how you manage a dog with this kind of coat into cords. Nina? Hi. First of all, the more important thing is to keep them white. Um, so basically what you do is you bathe them every week and you keep them clean and you air dry them and you let them mat to the skin. It's hard to do because you want to brush it out or do something to it because that's against our better judgment. But you don't. So right now, since he sat in his crate five days, he's pretty felted to the skin. So how to start the cords as you go down here, you can see we pulled some this weekend. You just separate it to the skin. And you can see back here where we started pulling and that's the start of the cords. And how long is it going to take this puppy to look like this dog? She's five years old and it's took this long to get the length on her cords. So how do you manage this coat now? Well, what you do, we tie her up a lot so her cords don't get in her urine or if she has a bad accident of poo, you don't want poop all over her cords because it will stain them. So you tie everything up. She wears boots most of the time, so she stays white. You tie her head up so you can see her eyes and so she can see. And um, I've learned to look at a lot of YouTube dread movies videos because when these sticky uppy hairs come there's these little things called dread hooks and you crochet the hair into the cords it's a lot of work guys somebody gets a lot of credit for managing the cords on a dog like this thanks nina see you soon